Hey, what's going on everyone? How's everyone doing today? In this video, we're gonna be talking about my target frequency response. What would be the perfect IEM for me? So yeah, without further ado, let's start. So this is the Sony IERZ-1R and this is the best bass I've ever heard. So all you actually need is a about a 5 dB bass boost. So yeah, in the bass, I would want a 5 dB bass boost directly in the sub bass. And then onto the mid bass, I think what the Diva has here would be the perfect amount. Um, Yeah, so it would only need you would only need two or three decibels in the mid bass because when you don't have mid bass, um, certain voices sound thin, and you don't want that because that's just it just doesn't sound realistic when voices sound thin because in real life when someone's talking to you or you're listening to a speaker, it doesn't sound thin. Um, so yeah. Two to three decibels in the mid bass, and then uh, I don't know how I feel about this because it does seem one to two dBs off down here. So you do want to see it be perfectly aligned with the black line. So yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that. And then another thing that would be perfect is a full upper mid range. Um similar to what the variations has uh so yeah it should be a full upper mid range some people say that a full upper mid range sounds shouty but i never heard any shout so when people call something shouty um it never really made sense to me because i don't hear shout um yeah it's just maybe it's just how my ear is but yeah i don't ever hear shout Unless if it's like a cheap $100 earphone or it's not implemented perfectly. But yeah, I haven't heard any shout on a more expensive IEM. Like the Variations, U12T, um, C Audio Yume, the Helios, even though some of those have a little scoop. But yeah, I never hear any shout. So yeah, that's how it should be full upper mid range. And then for the treble, it would have to peak like the Symphonium Audio, Symphonium Audio Helios does. So as you can see, it peaks all the way up to 20K. This basically goes up to the limits of my hearing that I've ever heard in an IEM. So yeah, that would be my target response. And I don't think any IEM on the market is tuned that way where it has only a 5 dB bass boost, only a 2 to 3 dB in the mid bass, and then it goes linear. I haven't seen that yet. And then I haven't seen an IEM where the treble shoots up this high like the Helios does. So if I had to draw something for an approximation, it would look something like this. 5 dB here. 2 dB in the mid bass and then flat um, in a straight line and then you get a full upper mid range and then it slightly tapers off around here and then it just peaks to 20k so yeah that's what my target response would be and it's pretty interesting because you should know what you want in an IEM um, so yeah, I think this would sound the most realistic. So yeah, I am getting the Diva, but they're taking a while for the orders, so I'm just waiting on them. This I am, it looks like the treble goes to about, uh, maybe 17 or 18k. But if you can't hear above 15k, I don't think... It should matter that much. But if you can hear 15k and above. Then, and you've heard the Helios. Or you want to get an IM that 
goes to the limit of your hearing. Uh, you could try out the Helios if you have the means. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly make this video to share what my target response would be. So yeah, hopefully you guys found this interesting. So the next video I drop is probably going to be of the Elysian Diva. So I guess to give a quick preview on this. Um, this does have the perfect amount of bass that I look for. And lean mid range. The mid bass I mean. It's only 2 to 3 decibels boosted here. Which is perfect. And then full upper mid range. And then the treble is the hardest part. The bass and treble to know how it's going to sound by looking at the graph. But yeah, so this I am. Uh, if an IEM could have all three of these things, it should be tubeless. Because then it's just going to sound open. And when you use tubes, the sound is more congested and not as free-flowing. So, for example, a tubeless IEM would be something like the U12T. And the U12T and the Helios graph similarly. But they don't sound anything alike they sound completely different so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video uh like comment and subscribe if you have any comments share it and yeah this is what my target response would be so take care guys and then when i get the diva in i'll post a review on that so yeah have a good night everyone i'll catch you guys in the next one